Blood pressure can be controlled by a number of different mechanisms. First of all, it's, it's affected by cardiac output. Now, cardiac output is a combination of heart rate and stroke volume. If we have a higher cardiac output, whether it's due to an increased heart rate or an increased stroke volume, we'll get greater amounts of blood going through the system. And as we have, as in any pipe, if you have a greater volume of fluid going through the system, there'll be more pressure. Now, the second part of that mechanism for blood pressure would be the distensibility or the dilation and constriction of your blood vessels. So again, with a vessel that is very narrow and you're trying to push a lot of fluid through it, in this case blood, you can have high blood pressure. But if you can distend or dilate those vessels, make them bigger with the same volume of fluid or blood, then the blood pressure will go down. So, for example, when we're excited and we have a fight or flight mechanism, the sympathetic nervous system takes over and increases cardiac output to a high degree. So we have a huge amount of blood going through the system and initially the vessels are very narrow. So normally you find with exercise you have an increase in blood pressure at the very start. The blood pressure tends to go down after a period of time though because the sympathetic system will also dilate the capillaries around your muscles to make those vessels bigger. And so then the blood pressure will, re will decrease again back towards a um, a more resting state. So there's a number of interesting things we can do and one of the things we're going to do today is to take a look at the effect of inversion on our blood pressure and how, we, how it's controlled. Now when we're in order to have a system work you need to have a receptor because the receptor tells the system what's happening. One of the major receptors to control blood pressure are your baroreceptors and you have baroreceptors located in your carotid arch um, in the upper body. So if we have a large amount of fluid, which in this case is blood, putting pressure on the baroreceptors, the baroreceptors send a signal back to the sympathetic nervous system to slow things down, to inhibit or decrease excitation. And so increased baroreceptors inhibit the sympathetic system and therefore what we'll have is a decrease in cardiac output, less blood goes around the system, and the pressure on the pipes decreases. So what I'm going to do today, I have Do Dr. Drinkwater here with me today. He's going to take my blood pressure, and we're going to see what my blood pressure is while I'm in a resting state. I also have a heart rate monitor on, and I see that my heart rate at the moment is about 70 beats per minute. over 75. All right, 130 over 75, which is in the normal range for a person my age. Uh, a typical value for a young individual would be 120 over 80. But as I'm 55 years old, uh, we tend to have slightly higher blood pressure as our vessels become um, a, a bit more stiff. So what we're going to do next, we're going to flip me over and see how my baroreceptors react and how my sympathetic nervous system reacts to me being upside down. All right, now we're inverted. Now our laboratory has done a number of studies in this area, and if I could get Dr. Drinkwater to take my blood pressure now. Now you would expect, as you remember, we said that my blood pressure was 130 over 75, and my heart rate was 70. You would expect that, now that I'm upside down, there's a large amount of blood that is pouring and pumping towards my head. So we would have this large amount of fluid into the same size of um, vessels and therefore you'd think that my blood pressure would be going up. And as you can see my, my face is red and my eyes are probably bulging out. So we'll just see what my blood pressure is. I'll take a look at my heart rate. Remember it was 70 before. It's 62 uh, right now. 110 over 65. So heart rate has dropped 70 to 62 and blood pressure has dropped from 130 to 110 and diastolic was 75 down to 65. So why would that be? Well remember before we said 
the receptor to tell us how much pressure there is in the vessels is our barrel receptors. So these barrel receptors are located in my upper chest and neck. I've got all this blood coming down and putting pressure on those barrel receptors. They will say there's a high pressure situation. The body wants to stay in homeostasis. It doesn't want high blood pressure. So it'll send a message back to the sympathetic nervous system to inhibit it, to increase parasympathetic activation, and therefore my cardiac output decreases. So cardiac output, heart rate times stroke volume. And we noticed that my heart rate went down. So therefore, my cardiac output is probably going down. There's less blood rushing around my entire body. And I'm probably having dilation of the vessels in order to accommodate that large amount of blood that's coming down. Now, as I mentioned before, we've done a number of studies in this area. And whether we have people uh, inverted within 30 seconds or whether in some studies we've inverted people in one to three seconds. And within one second, blood pressure drops heart rate drops. So those baroreceptors are very dynamic and very immediate in the response and they can turn on or off, they can inhibit or excite your heart to a great extent almost immediately. So control of uh, blood pressure, cardiac output and uh, uh, vessels uh, dilation. That's all controlled by the sympathetic system which receives those messages from the baroreceptors. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.